Hi everyone. I'm glad to have you for a coffee time with Alina. I'm having my old milk latte and I hope you got yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee because I'm going to talk to you about something that prevents us from being happier. In my previous video I mentioned the so-called annoying features that mess up our mind and prevent us from being happy, which are miswanting, making a mistake about something you might like in the future. Then we have uh, hedonic adaptation, in other words, getting used to stuff, getting used to things, social comparison and reference point. So it's great to know about all these things and what it is that actually prevents us from being happy. But what is really important is to learn how to deal with these things so we can knowingly bring happiness into our life every single day. So today I'd like to focus on the hedonic adaptation. People's general tendency to get back to the set level of happiness despite life's major ups and downs. This is the example of winning a lottery. Someone, someone wins a lottery, is super happy about it, but after some period of time they eventually get back to the set level of happiness. The happiness they had even before winning the lottery or even less than that. So, Hedonic adaptation they also refer to as a hedonic treadmill because we kind of end up where we started. Now, I'd like to clarify two things here. Pleasures and gratifications. What about pleasures? There are certain things, certain activities that are more subject to hedonic adaptation. They bring happiness, but the happiness they bring evaporates real fast. And activities like this are referred to by psychologists as pleasures. Yes, they do bring happiness, they make us feel super happy and uh, wonderful, but we also have a tendency to sort of get used to them. Say, for example, your favorite meal. You love the way it tastes, you absolutely love having it every day, and you think if you do have it every day, you know, you will never, uh, you will never stop enjoying it, right? Like for me, I love falafel wrap. I feel like I can have it every single day, three times a day, till the rest of my life. But the truth is, even if it happens, if I, even if I do have it every single day, for a week at least, I won't even feel, uh, I won't enjoy as much as I used to, right? And uh, this goes also for things like listening to your favorite music, or fresh flowers, or say, even roller coaster rides as well. These are all pleasures. What about gratifications? The American psychologist Martin Seligman researched the gratifications and uh, well those are the things that activities that eventually make us feel that we are in the flow. When we are doing them, we are completely engaged in them. We lose the track of time, passage of time, and we are sort of lost in them, right? So and what is interesting about gratifications is that they are more immune to hedonic adaptation compared to pleasures. So what are those gratifications? Your hobby, things that uh, you enjoy doing, you learn new skills maybe, it's meditation or yoga. Uh, it's also true for a challenge that we face, which is both fun and it's just uh, right enough for our abilities. So it's not that difficult to discourage us, it's just difficult enough to keep us feeling challenged. Right? So these are some examples of gratification. So now as we know what pleasures and gratifications are, how do we move away from those limiting effects of hedonic adaptation? How do we bring more happiness to our lives every single day? So the first thing that you can do is make sure that you add pleasures throughout your day. Have that cup of coffee, call your friend for a quick chat or a quick laugh. Even if you feel like you're super busy and you don't have time for all these things, then organize your time with the intention to include those little pleasures during the day. Now, another thing about pleasures is that you need to rotate them. Because if you don't, if you keep doing the same thing all the time, you kind of get used to them. So this is the direct path to hedonic adaptation, right? So you need to rotate and add some variety. Another thing is um, make time for your hobby. Like we have learned, hobbies are gratifications. So they are more immune to hedonic adaptation and we definitely not only enjoy doing them, but we also benefit from them, right? And it doesn't matter what kind of hobby it is, as long as it makes you feel like you are enjoying it and you benefit from it. 
Another thing which is also quite important is make time not only for yourself, but make time for others. It adds up to meaning in your life, which eventually adds up to your happiness. One thing which is so important, which I practice all the time, is savoring. Savoring is basically bringing you to the present moment. You're having this coffee or you're doing something that makes you feel happy. Just be in that moment and enjoy it. Pay attention to it, right? Say, for example, you're having this tea and it's your favorite, your favorite flavor. Just remind yourself how good this flavor is or pay attention how hot this tea is, just hot enough to enjoy. Now, for me, savoring is something that reminds me uh, to get back to the present moment. And also it sort of has a power to, to prolong your positive experience. Another thing which is sort of, in my opinion, connected to savoring is gratitude. Whenever you're doing something, always feel grateful. Just imagine that even if you have a tendency to get used to it, imagine that there are some people who would wish to do something that you're doing right now, right? So being grateful definitely helps you to, to bring yourself to the present moment and also enjoy, enjoy this positive experience even more. Another thing which really helps is uh, keeping a journal. So make it as a rule, uh, keep a track and write down the positive things that happen to you during the day. Maybe you can aim for three things every day. And the thing is that when you're writing about them, when you're writing down whatever happened to you today and with something that made you feel good, you are relieving this mo these moments again. And next time when you open this journal and you read about the, what happened to you today, you will relieve you will relieve again. So you see, these are the things that are very simple, but they really increase our uh, mood, happy mood, right? Happy feelings. So always keep track of how you feel. If you feel like it's basically keep a track of your happiness level, right? If you feel like you could be happier, then do something to make yourself happier. What helps me is uh, that I made a list and uh, this is basically a list of things that can instantly bring me to a happier mood. Say for example, uh, if I feel a bit discouraged or something, all right, what can I do to instantly feel happier? Call my parents, find out that, you know, that everything is okay or go for a walk around the park right here or listen to my favorite song or maybe watch that funny video with cats or something like this. But these are the things that can really instantly bring you to a happier place. And uh, this is what's important. Keep a track of how you feel. Now, what do we have here? How do we move away from that hedonic adaptation? Make time for your pleasures during the day. Make time for hobbies. Make time for others. It doesn't matter. It can be five minutes. But still, right? Be grateful. Practice savoring. Don't just do things because they're happening, but be in that present moment. Don't just enjoy your coffee and at the same time be on the phone and social media. Just keep a moment and enjoy. Enjoy it. Gratitude. Keep a journal. And keep a track of your happiness. So, I hope you guys learned something and if you haven't, then I hope I at least managed to remind you that there are some things that we can do every single day. They're so simple, but they can help us to stay away from that hedonic adaptation and something that can totally prolong our happiness and positive experiences. So I'm wishing you a good day or night or morning, wherever you are right now and whenever you're watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.